welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Anne, and if you've been here before, I will welcome back. I'm so sorry for my voice. As you guys know, it's been a crazy week for me, but here we are. We have like a brand new setup. I'm here in the Philippines finally and I'm just using my brother's space he also fixed the lighting for me so this is all different this video is gonna be different we're not in my room so um, I hope you guys still enjoy but I have a haul video for you guys this video is gonna be a hygiene haul from Asia so I did pick up a couple things from Japan on my layover flight and then I also had a, um, a few things that I picked up from Watson's which is like a popular um, hygiene like a uh, drugstore pharmacy kind of store here in Asia so I'm gonna get started with everything that I got in Japan I put them all in this recycled forever 21 bag and let's get started so I really really love Japanese skincare and one of the things that I always always I guess go back to is the skin the, the face washes and I also love their sunscreen but I did pick up a couple of face washes so I picked up this one is from the brand crazy cosmetics so I know it's like funny but this is the name it's um crazy like k-r-a-c-i-e so this is their makeup removal face wash and this one is in the scent called a peach leaf so I think this one is like for um, soothing and calming the skin and for moisturizing. So the peach um, color is really cute and it's called um, Naive, which is kind of funny because I don't know, but um, <laughs> it's a little funny, but um, sometimes Japanese labels can be a little bit like off-putting. Um, the some some... Uh, names that they have on their products are a little bit like off but it, it's really like that it's so understandable um, English is not really a it is not um, a language that they use in Japan so it's still cute and <laughs> their products are still really really good so um, they also have this one is the next one it's from the same brand crazy um, <laughs> if you guys know um, if there's any other way to pronounce this brand, let me know in the comments below. But I also got the green tea one, and this one is what I've been using for the past couple of days since I got it, and it's actually working really well. So I got my mom one of these, and then I also got one for myself, and then I also picked up some sunscreen. So I got me and my mom this one so I got her one of this as well so this is the um it's from Kose and that's the brand and this one is the sun cut tone up UV essence SPF 50 plus 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 and this one is actually a really good sunscreen it is it's like it, it actually gives you like a brightening complexion it is purple color so it actually helps um take away the sallow tones in the skin it's really really nice and I actually like the texture of it it's like a serum texture it's not super thick it's not super heavy but it also gives the skin like a nice glow I've been using the one that I gave my mom because she told me to try it but this is the one that I have that I will take home in the US um, and then I also picked up some skincare from um, the brand Hada Labo and I think Hada Labo is such a good brand I actually have used this one on and off for the past couple of years and this is available anywhere so um, in Asia if I, I believe if you are trying to, to try this brand I think it's available on H Mart as well but this one is the um, Hada Labo um, whitening lotion and rich so I actually didn't buy this one for the whitening purpose of it I just bought this one because I want something that will help even out my tone because I do have some acne scarring um, from my PCOS so this is really helping me a lot 
and I, or I think it's gonna help me a lot. I've tried this for a couple days and I actually see a difference already. Um, I bought me and my mom like a full set of both and then I got the lotion which is I think it's called the milk and I got the lotion as well so this one you do you use this one and then you use the milk after so um the the product line is called Hana Labo Shiro June so that's the line um I tried the Goku June line which is the hydrating line and that's really really good as well um but for right now I feel like I will pick that up and then this is gonna be like my nighttime skincare um, just because if you use products like that that are for evening out to tone on your skin you really really need to invest in a good um you have to invest in a good sunscreen and you have to thoroughly use sunscreen um anytime uh, any time that you get sun exposure so um i think i'm just gonna use those at night but i also picked up some toothpaste um these are so cute and they're like just a couple of cents like if you convert it in dollars i think these are just like if i'm not mistaken it's just like 98 cents or something but these are so cute and there's a kids toothpaste so this is the strawberry one i also picked i also tried this one and i just like it it's just so cute like there's a whale and then um there's another version which i think this is like the great version now um i do love using kids toothpaste just because i prefer my breath to taste sweet rather than to taste minty um i normally just like follow up with this one this is not like my main cleansing product I would use the cleansing product, like I would use like a minty toothpaste and then I'm gonna use this one right after just so this one will give me like a sweet smelling <laughs> breath. I know but I was like I wanna pick up more of these but they only have like two flavors. I'm gonna when I go back to Japan before I go back to the US I have another layover and I'm gonna go look at a drugstore and I need to pick up some more of like um, that and some skincare. But yeah, so let's move on to Watson's. So this is my Watson's stuff. So I actually have like two bags. So let's get started with this one just because this is like one and the same in this bag. It's just one and the same item. But I got, this one is the um, perfumed shampoo and conditioner it has argan oil and keratin and this one is actually a shampoo and conditioner that that has um a perfume that's inspired by the dior like it says over here and i was like when i saw that i'm like oh my gosh and it says long lasting fragrance i'm like i need that just because i love it when my hair is super um like well fragranced so it says over here that the scent notes are floral green fruity woody and musky i haven't tried it but i already bought three boxes to take home in the us just because you guys like i use a lot of shampoo and conditioner and this is gonna take me far and um i'm gonna let you guys know once i try this one just because this is really interesting you know and i'm even i even want to try like the other varieties of this one so if you are from the philippines this is available only in the philippines unfortunately and this is in watson philippines now um i also got these ones these are so good every time i come home here i would love uh to take home as much as i can but i try not to overdo it but it's the hair spa um these are the hair spa um from watson's so you can get these just buy one get one free all the time and the hair spa is basically like a very lightweight hair mask so it is like a hair treatment that you can use once or twice a week so filipinos or asians in general are very very big on hair treatments so this one has um milk with collagen and then it also has coq10 which is really cool so that one is like an anti-aging hair product and then they also have this one which is the argan with moringa just to help revitalize the hair so this one is for strengthening and also to help prepare the hair from damage and then this is the um for the revitalizing of the hair i'm probably going to pick up 
to more of like a different variety just because these are so good i love using hair masks in my hair i always always use hair masks um on a weekly basis like at least twice a week so this is gonna go far for me and i love them um the thing about these is that um if you live in the philippines they consistently change the varieties like um i tried the chewbacca hair spa before and they don't have the chewbacca hair spa anymore i've been looking for that one and they don't have it anymore um but anyways moving on i also got this one this is really really interesting you guys and i am using it today so this is the um gt nature suede beautiful skin carrot lotion so i'll take carrot lotion hmm that's like super, i'm super super curious but this one is a four in one anti-aging formula and this one it whitens moisturizes and it's also a sunblock and a body concealer so it has beta carotene from pure carrot extract it's spf 60 and i'm like i'm all about so when i'm in the philippines and when it's summer in, in the u.s i just love wearing sunscreen with super super high spf and this one is high enough for me it's spf 60 is definitely what i'm asking for and it has I'm, i really don't care much about the whitening property um if you guys are not aware there's a lot of like um in asia there's a really big co um culture a whitening culture i guess in terms of hygiene um whitening is a big part of hygiene so i i personally don't care about that anymore but a lot of um asians in general um from asia a, a light lighter colored skin is venerated and i guess it is throughout the world but especially in asia just because we have a lot of products that are like whitening um to even skin tone to give your skin tone like a lighter brighter appearance um and th that's why they have a lot of products like these I don't really support much the whitening part aspect of it. I did in the past, but I, I technically I really don't need to whiten my skin anymore. It just doesn't make any sense. But I just love this one for it actually does even out the skin. Cause sometimes I feel like wearing like a body foundation, but at the same time I want to protect my skin from the sun because i always love using sunscreen um because for me i believe that like if you want your skin to look better for the longer period of time up until you're already in your like 60s 70s it's the key is really using sunscreen everywhere in your body even in your hair so this is absolutely good i'm actually gonna gonna pick up more of this i think this is just like four dollars if you convert it in dollars so i'm super impressed with that and it's it's easily blended i can really see a difference especially on my leg i can see that um it did cover a little bit of um because i do have i had some mosquito bites from staying here and um it was able to conceal it so i love 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 that and then i also did pick up a couple of um hair stuff so i mean these hair stuff are so unique to the the philippines and in asia in general just because i haven't really seen any place that sells this but here in asia i mean in the u.s we have um like hair perfumes and stuff but um here they call it hair refresher so they you can find these all over like in japan you can find it in korea in like hong kong and then they have it in the philippines so this is from the brand bitch rest and this one is actually a product that will eliminate the odor and it's also going to keep your hair smooth and shiny so it's kind of like a hair perfume but at the same time it actually helps your hair be like frizz free it has a lot of benefits more than smelling good and it's not a leave-in conditioner it's just literally to refresh your hair this is good if you live in a place that's polluted or um you know if you lit if you if you if you smoke I, I don't smoke but if you smoke and you you know how like smoke um sits in the hair so you can actually use this to just like um refreshing the hair it's it's wonderful and i've been wanting a product like this before so i had to pick up these two scents so i have floral bloom 
and I also have a tropical burst and then on top of that you guys these two products are also antibacterial so let's say um, you've been out your hair has been exposed and you don't want to wash it but you also want to clean it just so no bacteria clings in it you can just spray it and you're good to go so that's really really cool I actually haven't tried it but let me try floral bloom um, just because I do have only like a treatment in my hair but oh my gosh this one actually smells mm, it smells really really good I actually will have to buy more of this one because this is bomb just because I really don't like using like body spray in my hair just because to me it's like it's it's gonna dry up my hair and that's I don't want that so anywho I also have this one is the Ellipse hair vitamin so this is the next thing that I picked up this is actually a product that I've been using um, since I was little I've been using it since I was a teenager and this one has pro keratin complex um, it also has heat protection so hair vitamin is actually quite big here in the Philippines so these ones you actually um, just it's like a little ampule so you just um, pop these open and then take all of uh, squeeze everything out and then um, rub it on your hand and then put it on your hair I, you can actually apply it on damp hair and then you can just um, have it air dry which I did today and it actually leaves your hair really really like nice and smooth and frizz free I love this product in the beginning because there's so much product inside the little ball or the little ampule but if you take everything out just rub it really well on your hands and make sure that the hair is closer to wet than closer to dry you know so damp hair um but you can even apply this one when your hair is just like you know when you after the shower and you just like squeeze the hair out and then you can immediately put this just so the product will just immediately sink inside the hair it's a wonderful product and i wish i bought more because this is just like i only have like five more left and i need to pick up some more of that and this one is actually really cheap it's less than a dollar if you buy it here now um because my channel is super very you know perfume and fragrance focused obviously i did buy a lot of fragrances so let me get started i actually have a bunch of things that are from my childhood and i think these are just like i'm just like paying homage to um, the scents that started my love for perfumes and these ones are actually from the brand called Bench so I'm just taking them out so you guys can see it but these scents right here have been my go-to scents when I was in college so this is the Bench Deal Body Spray so these Deal Body Sprays um, these are not deodorants they're more like you can't use them on your underarms these are just to deodorize the body um, I know in the US we have like deodorants that you can use on the body and they will come in like an aerosol container like this but these are not deodorants for your underarms these are actually for your body only so this is from the Bench brand and Bench is kind of like a an H&M or a Zara so it's like a clothing brand and they have this one is Bear Me Not oh my god I love the scent of this one I cannot remember what it is, smells like but this one is like a clean kind of a floral scent it's very good and this is Bear Me Not I love the color and then I also got a Tickled Pink and Tickled Pink is a um it's more of like a it's a sweeter kind of a scent it's a sweet fresh scent i really really like this one back then i haven't opened them up so i don't know how it smells lately but i have them and then just to you know just so i have like a memory of my childhood in a bottle you know but I also have this one and this one is newer it's called happy crush and this one I did try to open it last night and mm, this one is actually really nice and fresh let me try it this one is actually like a fresh scent um the only thing about these is that they're very high in um what do you call this um like the deodorizing property so the aerosol in it plus the deodorizing property 
that in the beginning that's all that you smell but when you let it sit you can actually um smell the fragrance so that's that one and then i also got these are the call um the ones called brad splash cologne so in the philippines we call cologne like a lighter version of in or the or the toilet so this is lighter than an eau de toilette so um when boyfriend and i just got together i always call my lighter perfumes like my eau de toilettes i call them my cologne because that's the verbiage that we use for a fragrance that is lighter than your eau de toilette so i bought a lot of colognes um, specifically baby colognes just because baby colognes have like lighter smell to them they're also more fresh they're more effer like effervescent some of them are effervescent but a, a lot of them smell powdery and a lot of them don't stay very long they have they don't have the best projection but they they're just really product that you enjoy just dousing your body with after shower and that's my main motivation for buying around buying them this time around and i also also want to just have a memory of my childhood because i did use the brat splash raspberry crush when i was in high school so this one is really nice and fruity and then it has like raspberry in it and this one is called strawberry shake and i, I never had this before so it, this one is actually it actually smells really um it's a very like artificial strawberry scent but i don't mind it because i i just like it for for the memories is that weird but yeah i just like it for the memories um i also got a lot of like these different baby clothes that i mentioned to you guys just because these are so so nostalgic for me and i bought them just for the nostalgia alone um but anyways these are the johnson's baby cologne i think bretman rock bretman rock <laughs> did mention this one time on his channel that he's using like the baby colognes but i've used these ones these ones growing up so uh, growing up i had a routine like in school ever since i was like in grade school but most especially in high school um during lunch after lunch like me and my friends we will brush our teeth and then we will wash our face we'll put powder on our face and then we will use like the baby cologne and then we will brush our hair so we have that like routine in high school and this is a huge part of my high school beauty routine is using the johnson's powder mist or the johnson's slide there's even one that's the original set which is the baby scent but um i didn't pick that up just because I don't like the packaging anymore. It's just blue and it's so plain. But this one is actually a very powdery kind of a scent. Oh my gosh. It smells literally like a freshly newborn baby. This is so nice. And then um, I also got this one, which is the Louis and Pearl Sweet Paris Cologne. Haven't tried this one, but I think... This one is like a, a, a raspberry kind of a scent. These are very, very juvenile scents, but a lot of people or a lot of girls my age would still use it here in the Philippines just because, like I said, it's it's a, root, a hygiene routine that is inculcated in our culture. So we also have this one, the Juicy Cologne. I actually want to buy more of the Juicy Cologne, so I have the Sweet Delights. And I do want to pick up more of the Juicy Cologne. I actually know a place here where I where um, my family lives or where my family is from. Uh, it's called the Elizabeth Elizabeth. That's the name of the store, and it's like a warehouse, and they have a bunch of Juicy Cologne. Just because when I was younger, that's actually the store where you can buy a bunch of these like little colognes, and like they have different kinds of like powder like the powder that you actually shake um and just apply on your face so they have a lot of those options i probably would go to like a local smaller grocery store one day just to pick up more of these just for me to try 
I also have the Sweet Sense um, Cupcake from Pen Shop. I heard some good things about this one because they said that this one's actually like a sweet gourmand. And um, they also, I've also tr um, heard so many good things about this one. This is the Fruit Fave um, Strawberry and the Fruit Fave Watermelon. And these both are from Pen Shop. So Pen Shop is like, um, a clothing company here in the Philippines so they're like uh, Forever 21 or H&M, Zara so I got these two now um, I heard so many good things about the watermelon one which I do like watermelon scents in general um, I will do a review of this one eventually but I also have uh, the strawberry one and this one is like a Mm, it's like a fresh fruity scent. It's more of like an after shower fragrance. This is something that you don't wear going out. It's more of a if you want like a skin scent, this is definitely one of those. It's one of those skin scents that don't have a lot of power, not a lot of projection, but they just give you that fresh feeling. And then this one is the Aquabella Flames Seduce. Um, this is from Pen Shop as well, and this is the set called Seduce, and I guess the Flames is the collection of it, I think. But this one is actually Jasmine and Honeysuckle. It is, it's like a Jasmine kind of an incense scent with floral, so it's like a floral, floral fragrance. This one is actually more mature. For being a um, cologne but it says over here that it's more of a body spray so I guess that's the reason why this one has more power actually this one I feel like it can take the place of a perfume it has a very perfumey vibe about it so I do like this one and this one is called um, seduce so yeah I will actually list um, some places online where you can purchase these um, unfortunately if you are in the US it's kind of hard to pick up some of these some of these you can buy but some of them you might have to find them online and see if it's available um, anywho before I end this video um, I just want to talk about something real quick I'm the kind of person that I'm very open-minded and sometimes um, I have a tendency to say what's on my mind. I, I try to be careful, but sometimes um, I, I am sometimes too vocal with my emotions and my feelings to people that I tend to hurt people, not know, unknowingly hurt people. But my mom told me that, you know, before you say something, think twice if that thing will hurt somebody and I heard from my pastor here and she said you know um, there are things that you want to say to people but you also want to maintain peace with them so sometimes if something if if something is if you want to say something to somebody you want to keep your peace and you want to keep that person at peace you know you want to give you want to greet that person with peace um so that actually opened my eyes into, into the idea of you know before you say something i think twice how your words affect another person because you know in the u.s we're, we're very used to small talk you know, um, I'm not a believer of small talk because I realized later on that, you know, yeah, small talk is not just small talk. Everything that you say to people have an impact to another person's life. Um, even the things that I say in my videos, I'm trying to be careful um, because everything that we say have an impact to people and i do want to give that positive Im impact and positive influence to people just because influencers in general 
they really do have a say, a big say on, you know, what's happened, the psyche behind um, the creation of um, content. Your audience is influenced not just with their purchases, but with also with their frame of thinking. And I want to influence you guys not in the way of, hey, you know, buy this, buy that, or not with your purchases, you know. And, and but I guess it, it comes hand in hand with that because you do see, you do see what I buy and what I buy influences you to buy or influences you to try something. But my main goal in my channel is to actually influence you to think differently and to also think from the perspective of good, you know, or on what's positive, what's what's going to contribute to make things better. And um, and that's mainly the goal of my channel. But uh, up, um, everything um, in our life is so interconnected that everything that I put out as a content is not just a random content. Everything that I say in my videos are very pur purposeful. And I want it to be like that because um, to me, it's not a numbers game after all. It's not the number of subscribers that I'm after, but I'm also, not, I'm also mindful of how many people are hearing this message and whose life was able to change or, or whose mindset was able to change because of what I say and because of um, what I advise people to do. <laughs> I know what I mean, but um, yeah, so as much as possible, even the Bible says that, um, you know, we have to be at peace with our brothers, we have to be at peace, we have to keep the peace um, among ourselves, and I guess if, if we do that, if we focus and um, turn our language around, or not, not just the language, but to turn our conversation, our discourse, into something that um, helps people, uplifts people, discourse that is always geared towards good and just having the concern or, or, or to talk from a concerned standpoint, you know, and just be careful of what we say, to watch what we say basically. That's Basically everything that I want to say is to watch what we say and be careful with our words because words do have power um, even not just to people we care about but to anyone so that's a lesson that I've learned in the past week since my grandpa's passing is to just be careful with what you say because you know you don't know what other people are going through you don't want your hurt words to hurt somebody um, and you don't want your words to cause distraught in your relationship, especially with somebody that you care about. So, yeah, um, all of the scripture that inspired my message today will be in the description box below. But before I end this video, I just want to thank you guys so much for everything that you've been doing for the channel all the views all the subscribes i super appreciate it we are very 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 close to a thousand subscribers and i'm very very thankful and i'm very fortunate to have met you you guys have no idea how much of a blessing you are in my life and i'm trying my best to be a blessing to you as well so thank you guys so much god bless you and definitely more videos to come i'll see you guys on the next one Bye!